students from Richard Montgomery, Thomas Jefferson, and Montgomery Blair meet today on It's Academic. Hello everyone, I'm Hillary Howard. Welcome to It's Academic, now in its 60th season and brought to you as it has been for more than 50 years by Giant Food. This is a semi-final match, which means these guys are really, really good. They've won two prior games. Let's meet them. We begin with the team from Rockville, Maryland and Richard Montgomery High School. Hey, Avanov, how are you? Hi, I'm good. My name is Avanov Karthkin. I am an 18-year-old senior from Richard Montgomery High School. And I'd like to thank our principal, Mr. Monteleone, for coming out here to support us, as well as our two wonderful co-sponsors, Dr. McDonald and Ms. Gallon. Beautiful. Hi, you Gus. Good to see you. Hi, my name is Gus Carvel. I'm a junior. And I'd like to thank our competitors, Blair and Thomas Jefferson, for coming out today and providing us with the challenge that makes the game happen. Awesome. And finally, Justin. Hello. Hi, I'm Justin. I'm a senior, and I'd like to thank It's Academic for hosting this great tournament. All right, Richard Montgomery, let's play. In this opening round, questions are worth 20 points. Nothing off for a wrong answer. Here's your first question. You can earn 20 points by finding in this phrase the name of what ancient Greek who determined the principle of water displacement? Archimedes. Archimedes, probably. Yeah, Archimedes, yeah. final. Yes, that's it. Bleed, make a mistake, stop. If something is incessant, it will not do which of these? Stop. stop. Yeah, stop, final. Stop is it. Twelfth night table. What word should you remove here to get the correct title of a Shakespeare play? Table. Table. Table, table final. Table is it, yes. On war, peace in our time, profiles and courage. Which of these is the famous 19th century treatise written by Prussian General Karl von Clausewitz? On war, on war final. On war is right. Two men in a burning house do not stop to argue. This proverb comes from what African country where Khartoum is capital? Sudan. Yeah. Yeah. Sudan final. Yeah, Sudan is it. Nice job, Richard Montgomery. You've got 200 points. Time to meet the team from Fairfax County's Thomas Jefferson High School. Hey, Vishal, good to see you again. Hi, my name's Vishal. I'm a senior at TJ, and I'd like to extend a thanks to our alternates as well as our entire team. Beautiful. Pratush, how are you doing? My name is Pratush. I'm a junior at TJ, and I would like to thank our coach, Mr. Smolinski, and our principal, Dr. Bonitatibus. Wonderful. And finally, Anurag. Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm Anurag, a senior at TJ, and I would like to thank the ITSAC team for all the, the hard work they've put in into the show. Well, thanks a lot. We couldn't do it alone, and we're just so happy you're a part of it in our little Zoom show. All right, guys. First question. Past a tin eagle. Instead of eagle, see if you can find hidden in this phrase what rare radioactive element with atomic number 85. As, uh, conferring astatine? Yeah. A uh, final astatine. Yes, it is. Malevolent, capricious, indolent. Someone who is very unpredictable and impulsive can best be described by which of these adjectives? Conferring capricious. Capricious, capricious I think. right? Yeah. Final yeah. capricious. Capricious it is. A separate peace talk. Not exactly. Please eliminate one word to correct this title of a John Knowles novel. Maybe separate a piece? separate piece. Or... I think I've heard of that, yeah. Sure. We'll remove talk, final. Very good. A separate piece is right. Chu Liang, Kim Jong-un, Sun Yat-sen. Which of these men was the ancient Chinese military leader who is said to have invented the semi-automatic crossbow, the wheelbarrow, and the dumpling? Confirmed. First, the first one. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the first final, one. The first one? Yeah, that's right, Chu Liang. Now for a cup of real English tea. Kaiser Wilhelm of Germany said this in 1918 when he began a life of exile, not in England, but in what lowlands country then ruled by Queen Wilhelmina? Netherlands. Yeah, yeah that's final of the Netherlands. The Netherlands is right, and you've garnered 200 points, TJ. Time to meet the team from Silver Springs Montgomery Blair High School. Hey, Chris, what's going on? I'm Chris, I'm an 18 year old senior at Montgomery Blair, and I'd like to thank our principal, Mrs. Johnson, and our coach, Mr. Culver, for doing a wonderful job supporting us and preparing us for the competition. Beautiful. Hi, Leela, how you doing? 
Hi, I'm Leela. I'm a 17 year old from Drink Blair, and I'd like to thank our amazing captain, Chris. Very good. And Albert, it's good to see you. Hi, it's good to see you too. I'm thank a you. 17 year old junior at Blair, and I'd like to thank Giant for sponsoring the show. All right, here we go, guys. First question, Blair. Bob rings bells. Study this sentence and see if you can find the last name of what man who rang a bell worldwide when he and Larry Page founded Google. Final answer, Bryn. Bryn. Yes, that's it. Boisterous, incredulous, pensive. Which of these adjectives would best describe someone who is thoughtful? Pensive. Final answer, pensive. Yeah, and the mountains echoed back. That can't be right. Please eliminate one word from this Khalid Husseini title to make it correct. Her echoed, I mean back, back. Final answer, remove back. Correct. Pachyderm, pterodactyl, ptarmigan. Of these three words, which one identifies an extinct flying reptile of the Mesozoic era? Pterodactyl. Final answer, pterodactyl. Pterodactyl is right. You can't throw a brick there without breaking a church window. Mark Twain made this irreverent comment in 1881 when he visited what largest French-speaking city in the province of Quebec? Montreal. Montreal. Final answer, Montreal. It is Montreal. Nicely done, Blair. You've got 200 points. All right, Richard Montgomery, time for the picture-perfect round. In this round, questions are worth 20 points up or down. 10 points off if you fail to answer. Here's the first question. This 1802 British cartoon played on people's fear of being vaccinated by Edward Jenner to prevent what disease? Smallpox. Eh? Oh boy. Smallpox, final. Yep, it's smallpox. You can see this extraordinary structure on a visit to what C-initialed Moroccan city, whose name means White House in Spanish. Casablanca. Final. That's it. Which of these numbers would equal 2% of 25? Um, 0 0.5, yeah, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. No, or, yeah, or 0 .0. I'm sorry, tell me what, I don't, I'm unclear. 0 .0, your... 0 0.05. No, it's 0 0.5, the, the third choice. I directed, I directed 0 0.5. Yeah, yeah, I think he did. Yeah, I thought I directed 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Oh, 0 0.5, you said. Yeah, that's I'll, what I'll I'm so sorry. That the zeros aren't on the graphic. Okay, that's a lot of answers in there. I was just looking for a clarification from Abhinav because I really couldn't hear his answer, but his answer is correct. Good job, Richard Montgomery. Here's your next question. This Liszt piano concerto was first performed in what small German city that gave its name to the German Republic overthrown by the Nazis? Weimar. Weimar. Yeah, Weimar Republic is right. Nice job, Richard Montgomery, 280 points. TJ, you're up for the picture perfect round. Here's the first clue. In 1521, Martin Luther had a bitter confrontation with Emperor Charles V while at what diet, which sounds like the phylum Annelida? Worms, worms right? Worms. Okay. Yeah, worms. Final worms, direct. Yes, it is worms, nice. This scroll portrays Minamoto Yoritomo, the first Japanese ruler to hold what S-initialed feudal title? Uh, okay. Conferring Shogun. Okay. Yeah. Uh, final Shogun. Yeah, you're right. It's Shogun. Solve for X. Conferring. 500, right? Uh, 25 times 20. Yeah. Uh, final 500. 500, yes. Control that. Africa's Victoria Falls is located on the border of Zimbabwe. And what other Z initialed country? Conferring. Zambia. 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 That's right. Okay. Final Zambia. Zambia's right. Thomas Jefferson, you've got 280 points. Hey, Blair, it's your turn to play the picture perfect round. Here's the first clue. This novel is set during the violent revolution that took place in what Caribbean country where Toussaint Louverture led to independence? Her Haiti. Haiti. Final answer, Haiti. It is Haiti, yeah. Choice. Here you have a 13th century astrolabe. An instrument used to tell time, aid in navigation, or as a prayer symbol? Like the second one, right? And for navigation. Final answer, navigation. You're right. Simplify this expression, giving your answer as an integer. And for 82. 82. Final answer, 82. You've got it. 
This is an artist's depiction of what 31 BC naval battle where Octavian defeated Antony and Cleopatra. For Actium. For Actium. Final answer, Actium. Yeah, it's Actium. Blair, fabulous job. You haven't missed one yet. 280 points. Well, all of these students are clearly very impressive. They work well as a team, but they have some help behind the scenes. Let's meet those folks. Who's with you, Abhinav? Today we have uh, Dr. McDonald, one of our amazing co-sponsors, who is a math and econ teacher, and our other amazing co-sponsor, Ms. Gallen, who is a math teacher as well. Hey, Ms. Gallen, it's great to see you. And Dr. McDonald, you've uh, been coach of this team for a while. You know these guys pretty well. What do you think of them? I'm so proud of them. Um, and they've got very worthy competition today. So it's, it's an exciting match to, to, uh, to watch. Well, now that we've met your coaches, let's see what you're going to do in this packet round, guys. As you know, questions are worth 20 points. Nothing off for a wrong answer, but there's a 25 point bonus if you get all the questions correct. Gentlemen, first question. The term Daltonism, from the name of scientist John Dalton, is a synonym for what visual condition where a person can't distinguish between red and green? Color blindness. Yeah. Color blindness, fine. Yes. England's King Charles II risked his life helping to contain what disaster which struck London in 1666? Great fire London. Yeah. Yeah, Great that's fire right. London. You got it. Here's your science question. Ultraviolet rays, infrared rays, radio waves. Which of these electromagnetic waves has the longest wavelength? Radio waves, right? Justin, we can't hear, we can't hear Justin. Uh, can we fix that before we... I think it's radio. Okay, uh, radio waves final. Radio waves, it is. In June of 1942, the Japanese lost five ships and over 300 aircraft in what naval battle named for its location equidistant between Japan and the U.S.? Midway, right? Midway final. Yep, it's midway. Feeding the mice used in medical experiments was an early job for what American playwright who later wrote Death of a Salesman? Miller. Miller final. Yep, Arthur Miller. Nicely done. Here's your math question. Perform the indicated multiplication, giving your answer as an integer. 360, right? Yeah. That sounds, sounds right. Uh, 360 final. You've got it. The greatest achievement of what 6th century Byzantine emperor was the codification of Roman law, which became the basis for legal systems still used in many countries? Justinian, right? Yeah, Justinian. Justin, we can't hear you. Justinian, yeah. Okay, yeah. Justinian. Yes, you've got it. It's Justinian, which means Richard Montgomery. You also have a 25 point bonus and 445 points. So this team from TJ is pretty awesome, but you know they're not doing this alone. Let's meet the folks who helped them prepare for its academic. Vishal, who's with you? Today, I'd like to introduce our amazing principal, Dr. Bonitatibus, and coach, Mr. Smolinski. Well, hello, Mr. Smolinski. It's great to see you. And Dr. Bonitatibus, tell us about your team. They're a close-knit group. Uh, they enjoy friendly competition, and they push each other to do their best. We're very proud of them. And now let's do the packet round, huh? Here's your first question, TJ. The dynasty of one 17th century Turkish Sultan was symbolized by what flower whose bulbs have been cultivated in Holland for hundreds of years? Tulip. Tulip. Tulip final. Yes, it is. From 1800 to 1815, the United States waged an intermittent war against what small Barbary Coast state whose name is mentioned in the Marine Corps hymn? Is it, it's Tripoli, right? So is that yeah, our, yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's a state though. It's, it's Tripoli, okay. Tripoli? Uh, final Tripoli. Yes, it's Tripoli. Here's your science question. Carbon, carbon dioxide, diamond. If you heated graphite in a vessel containing pure oxygen until no more reaction took place, which of these would be the only product formed? Conferring carbon dioxide, right? Yeah. Yep. Final carbon dioxide. You're right. There is a big difference between stars and planets, but what planet is referred to as both the evening star and the morning star? Venus. Yeah, Venus. Venus. Final Venus. Venus, yes, that's it. What American author received 23 rejection letters before he got a publisher to accept his novel, Dune? 
No? In Can, three, uh, two, final one? Nah, Frank Herbert. Here's your math question. Solve for Y. Two, right? Two. Yeah, final two. Yes. The first anti-aircraft gun was probably a modified artillery device used to fire on observation balloons during what 1870 war that ended the rule of Napoleon III? Uh, Franco-Prussian. Franco-Prussian Franco Franco war. You've got it, Franco-Prussian War. And you've got 400 points, Thomas Jefferson. Every good team has a team supporting them behind the scenes, and that is certainly true at Montgomery Blair. Hey, Chris, tell us about the folks who are with you. Hi, so today we have our principal, Mrs. Johnson, and our coach, Mr. Culver. Ms. Johnson, always good to see you. Hi. And Mr. Culver, great to see you. Tell us about these guys. Oh, they are a wonderful team, and uh, it's been a turbulent year. So we thank our principal, uh, Renee Johnson, for keeping us grounded and for these wonderful students for keeping us inspired. Okay, Blair, it's time for this packet round. Let's begin. Here's the first question. Research indicates that one reason cats love catnip is that catnip contains chemicals that ward off what insects that carry malaria? Mosquitoes. Final answer, mosquito. Yeah, mosquitoes. I'll have some of that catnip. Uh, China's 17 AD Red Eyebrow Rebellion was triggered partly by economic hardship caused by fl flooding of what colorfully named Chinese River? Or yellow. Or yellow River. Final answer, Yellow River. Yep, it's the Yellow River. Here's your science question. According to the Bohr theory of the atom, what is the maximum number of electrons in the first or K shell of an atom? Two. Final answer, two. You are right. William the Conqueror not only compiled an impressive record as king, he also compiled what impressive but ominous sounding book of facts and figures? Doomsday. The Doomsday Book. Final answer, the Doomsday Book. Yep, that's it. Although he had hoped his poems would earn him enough money to let him emigrate, what poet remained in Scotland even after the success of his ballad, Old Lang Syne? Or Burns. Final answer, Burns. Yes, here's your math question. What is the sales tax on a $160 purchase if the rate is 4%? Confer $6.40. $6 Final answer, $6.40. Yep. Prussia's King Frederick Wilhelm assembled his tallest soldiers in a unit named for what German city, later the site of a 1945 World War II meeting of Allied leaders? Or Potsdam. Why not answer Potsdam? You did a great job, Blair. Continuing to get every answer right, 25-point bonus in that packet round and a total score of 445 points so far. You've reached the lightning round, Richard Montgomery, in this round. Uh, you've got 45 seconds to answer as many as 10 questions. Questions are worth 20 points up or down. Nothing off if you fail to answer or pass. Are you ready? Here we go. All your answers must end in the letter A. That's end in the letter A in three, two, one. This is the capital of Canada. Ottawa, direct. Yes, this word describes a loss of memory. Amnesia, yeah. Yes, he is the current Secretary of Education. Miguel Cardona, direct. Yes, this is another name for your windpipe. Uh, Attractive, direct. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, Agamemnon sacrificed this daughter to ensure good wins. Climanestro, right? No, Iphigenia. No, Iphigenia, Iphigenia direct. No, we Picasso we did a famous painting of this bombed Spanish town. Guernica, direct. Guernica, direct. Yes, this is a star that suddenly increases in luminosity. Pass, pass. Nova. She was Othello's wife in the Shakespeare play. Desdemona. Desdemona. Yes, she was the mythical daughter of Cassiopeia. I can draw the third pass. Oh, and on the buzzer, Richard Montgomery, you got Andromeda. Nicely done. 565 points. TJ, you're up for the lightning round. Here we go. All your answers must end in the letter S, like in Sam. 
That's end in the letter S like Sam in three, two, one. This old Asian counting device involved beads on a wire. Abacus. Abacus. Yes, he was the Socialist Party of America presidential candidate multiple times. Debs. Debs. Yes, he's the current Secretary of Homeland Security. Pass. Mayorkas, this bone runs from your shoulder to your elbow. Humorous. Humorous. Yes, this large marine Arctic mammal has tusks and long whiskers. Walrus. Yes, he is Ophelia's brother in Hamlet. Laertes. Laertes. Yes, this constellation is also known as the Seven Sisters. Pleiades. Pleiades. Yes, this playwright wrote Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. William. Yes, this 1598 edict gave rights to French no. Protestants. Nah. Yes, nah. this fictional governess cared for the banks. Mary Poppins. Yeah, it's Mary Poppins, but it was after the buzzer. So sorry, you still did so well, TJ, with a score of 540 points. Okay, Team Blair, time for the lightning round. Here we go. All your answers end with the letter N as in Nancy. That's end with the letter N as in Nancy. In three, two, one. XE is the symbol of this noble Zenon. gas. Yes, this Russian-born hockey star is captain of the Washington of Capitals. Action. Yes, she was appointed to the Supreme Court in 2010. Kagan. Kagan. Yes, Vaduz is the capital of this tiny Liechtenstein. Yes, one millionth of a meter equals this measure of length. Eng Engstrom. No. No, it's Micron. In 1876, he got more votes than Rutherford B. Hayes. Children. Yes, Dushanbe is the capital of this Central Asian nation. Tajikistan. Yes, this poet wrote the Change of the Light Brigade, Charge of the Light Brigade. Edison. Yes, Edison. in 1909, he and Robert Peary reached the North Pole. Edmondson. Oh, that last answer is Henson, not Admonson. So I can't count it, sorry guys, but nonetheless, Blair, you did a really great job with an impressive 545 points. Okay, this was one of the closest games of the season. The teams are separated by only 25 points. Very impressive individuals and teams, and we are so lucky that they're on It's Academic. We feel fortunate to have them. So here are the scores. First, from Fairfax County, Thomas Jefferson High School, Vishal, Pratush, and Anurag, 540 points. From Silver Spring, Montgomery Blair, Albert, Leela, and Chris, 545 points. And coming back for the DC Championship, Rockville's Richard Montgomery High School, Abhinav, Gus, and Justin, 565 points. Please make sure you join us next week when we have that very exciting DC championship with Richard Montgomery, St. Anselms, and Blake. I'm Hillary Howard. See you then. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.